If you guys are looking to cop some cheap college football 25 coins, head over to AOEAH.com. Use code ultimate for 3% off. Come around, got the whole thing wobbing. What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another College Football 25 Ultimate Team No Money Spent episode. In my last episode, I did a 200k shopping spree and that brought my team up to an 81 overall. Here in this video, we're going to be doing some gameplay with the squad, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications so that you can be notified whenever I do drop a new video. I am dropping one to two videos every single day, so you guys don't want to miss anything. I do Madden Mobile, I do NBA Live Mobile, and I'm also doing college football so if you guys are interested in that type of content click that like button subscribe and turn notifications on this weekend i will be live streaming every saturday and sunday i like to live stream because i don't really have a lot of time throughout the week i normally stream at around 1 p.m so you know i'm i, I stay in columbus ohio so if you guys uh, go by eastern time it is 1 p.m eastern time um if you guys are somewhere else of course it's going to be a different time but every weekend i like to stream at 1 p.m eastern time this is what the team is looking like uh, i added some new wide receivers to the squad i want to give you guys a little refresher i added uh 84 sarah to the team Jawan newton 83 and then when it comes to the defense i actually uh pulled a new right outside linebacker yesterday uh we added him uh we also added Gro i was about to say grover we added Booger McFarlane, and then we also added Joshua Josephs to the squad. So let's go ahead and dive into some gameplay. We're going to be playing some head-to-head, -head, and we'll see if we can get this dub. I'll see you guys once we get into the game. All right, it looks like we're playing against a Texas A&M fan. That's my top three right here. Let's see who he's rocking with. Let's see. All right, 85 dart. We're going to get to 85 linebacker, 84 tight end. That's not bad. I like this matchup. We should be able to get this dub. Our teams are actually somewhat even. I'm an 81. He's an 80 overall. This will be a good game, man. Click that like button, guys. We're playing at their stadium. We're receiving the kickoff first. We're looking to start things off strong. We got to put up seven first drive. We got Mitchell back to take the kickoffs. I may need to put somebody faster back there. Mitchell, I think he has. His speed isn't that bad. He has 83 speed, but I feel like I have somebody faster that I could throw back there. We want to start things off with a run. I like how we got some space on that left side. We got Nicholas Singleton from Penn State at running back. Oh, oh, we break the tackle. Good run, 15 yards. That's how you start a game off. All right, I am currently using Oregon's offensive playbook, and then I'm using UNLV's defense. Uh, UNLV, the reason why I chose them is because, you know, the playbook was only going for around 1,000 coins. And it ha it's a 3-2-6 playbook. It also has 3-3-5 in it, as well as 3-4 and nickel. I'll show you guys the defense once we get on defense. But, like I said, offense is Oregon. We got triangle wide open. We're going for a possession catch right there. I really like this uh, formation, a uh, gun spread wide slot. Uh, this play, RZ cross HB rail. That's the play we just called. Look at all those routes on the field. Um... This game is kind of OP compared to Madden because uh, you can basically, you have a lot of uh, different hot routes you can use. You got deep cross, you could uh, put players on post routes. Uh, normally in ultimate team, you would have to put an ability on the player to get that. But here in college football, you automatically get that. Singleton coming out the backfield on the wheel route. We get another first down on that play. All right, I like this Oregon playbook because it also has Wildcat. It has I form and then it, and, and it has pistol, so it has a nice variety of formations that you can use. I like running uh, the Wildcat with Nicholas Singleton because the defense is hard to stop in Wildcat plays if you're uh, not really sound on defense. It looks like we got the right side open on this jet sweep. We're going to be running with our backup running back right here, Brown. He was one of the first running backs I added to my team. Oh, that was a good tackle. If we would have got that juke off, we would have still been running. Second and five. I like that. We're going to go back to the pass. I don't really want it to go to third down. We're having a good drive so far. We just got to keep it up. I want to do, I think I'm going to do a jet touch, touch pass. I like that. Let me see. Where can I find it? All right, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. I really don't want to call a timeout. 
So we'll just audible to inside zone. Let's see if we can get the ball off. Timeout. I had to call it. I had to call it. There are so many different plays to choose from. Here it is. Jet touch pass. That's what I was looking for. That's what held me up. I like how much time this drive is taking as well. We got about a minute left. We're uh, past the 50-yard line. We're cooking so far. We should be able to get a first down here. Oh, yeah. We didn't even need that block. Oh! I thought we were about to take it for six. That's my tight end, Jack Belling. He's an 83 overall. And at one point, like before I did my shopping spree, he was the best pass catcher on my team. Uh, I'm glad I did that shopping spree. I copped two wider, I copped two new wide receivers to add to the team. That made our offense more electric. Let's see what we can do with this inside zone. Give me that juke. Get out of my way. Oh, stiff arm. We're celebrating on him. Touchdown. We we murdered him that drive. That's that's the textbook opening drive right there. Take notes, man. To all the viewers out there, take notes. That's how you score in college football ultimate team. I'm, I'm a balanced player. You know what I'm saying? It's very easy to intercept the ball in this game. That's why, you know, I like to mix things up. I don't go pass heavy because, you know, all it takes is one bad click or one bad um, pass lead and the ball is going the other way. So we start the game off 7-zip. We're kicking it off. Uh, we upgraded our defense. Our biggest need was the defensive line. I added a new right end who has 83 speed from Tennessee, Joshua Josephs, that's his name. And I also added Booker McFarlane uh, as, at, at D-Tackle. Once I do my next shopping spree, we're going to grab ourselves another D-Tackle. And I also want to grab a left outside linebacker. Those are our two biggest needs right now. And I also want another middle linebacker. We're going to start things off in, uh, I'm going to just let it pick. I was going to start, start off in 3-4 odd, but I wanted to go for a different formation. What I'm going to do is do something like that. We're watching number one here. Oh, yeah. The pressure's coming in. Pick it off. Oh, I was clicking triangle. Come on, EA Sports. That should have been a pick six. But you guys can see. Oh, he's pausing the game. He's pausing the game. Was my defense that tough? Let me clean my eyes real quick. I See, I sent. I would say I sent an extra blitzer. I, nah, there were two extra blitzers. I had one of the corners blitzing, and I had um, one of my linebackers blitzing, and they came in hot. That is why I had to make those upgrades. You guys can see it's already uh, being demonstrated here on camera. All right, it's second and 10. We're going three, two, six. And what I'm going to do, we'll do corner fire two right here. We got a guy blitzing right here. I like this coverage. That's a pick. Oh, dude, I locked on to the player. Sometimes this game is somewhat buggy when you're trying to play defense. Right when he threw the ball, I clicked circle to lock on to the defender. I went for an interception, but he decided to swap the ball down. That, that play alone should have ended the game. It's already third down. All we got to do is just make sure we don't give up a touchdown this drive. You know what I'm saying? I want to put this game away quickly. So we got to be on point, man. It's, play, it's, it's plays like this, all right? It's the different difference maker in games. Oh, how was that not a fumble, EA? We had a straight line to the quarterback. We, we were hitting turbo. We hit him with a nasty hit stick, and the quarterback still didn't fumble. He high-key had a guy open. I'm glad, you know, I'm not really playing against that good of a player because he, he would have got that first down. Let's see what he does here on fourth and nine. We got ball first, so, you know, we could really put the game away right now. That's why I don't want him to score here because he does get the ball back at halftime. We need a stop. All right, we need a stop. I'm going to run this play right here. We're running coverage. You guys can see it. Nobody should be open here. Our D-line is getting in, and that's a... Oh, my gosh. My player didn't react fast enough. Come on, EA. Uh, thank God, you know, we stopped him on that play. I thought that was going to be an, an interception. And you guys can see the connection to your peer has been lost. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Uh, 200,000 coins, man. Um, I made those coins from my coin making method. 
uh, we ended up opening up some recruit packs or we actually opened four re recruit bundles and we pulled an 88 overall center that we sold for 270k we got back 240k and I spent another 40k on the recruit bundles I didn't make anything from it but I still managed to you know spend 200,000 coins on this team if you guys haven't seen that shopping spree in my last no money spin episode make sure to check it out um, my main my next focus all right is going to be the defense all right we got to replace the 77 overall this dude is actually a right end though he's originally an 81 overall he actually has good attributes that's why i put him in at d tackle uh i like him there i just want to add you know more d linemen to the team so that i can add more variety to my scheme we got to get a new middle linebacker number two we need a left outside linebacker left outside linebacker is my first need that we're going to address and then um, after that, we'll grab a D tackle. We'll still use Van because he's a true 81 overall and he's a edge rusher. But, you know, I want to have a beefy D tackle in there to stop the run. I also want to get uh, some better cornerbacks. These dudes are serviceable for now. But as the game goes along, uh, teams are going to get better and we're going to have to adapt uh, to the times. You know what I'm saying? But you guys saw the gameplay we were putting in work. So the team is good for now you know what i'm saying that is going to wrap it up for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure to click that like button make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace